Of all the flaming cheek. Don't start, Deirdre, please. Well, what do you want me to do, Ken? Buy the pair of you a drink? Can we just sit down and talk? No, we can't. How humiliating do you think this is? Parading your tart in front of our friends and neighbours. Deirdre, please. Look, all we wanted was a sensible chat and you start screaming like a scraggy-faced fishwife. No wonder Ken walked out on you and that old witch of a mother of yours. Don't you dare talk about a defenceless old lady like that. Blanche, Ken only defenceless. came to me because you and her drove him out. Look, can we please not do this in here? That is between him and me. It has nothing to do with you, lady. And I use the term loosely. <laughs> Do not speak to me like that. Oh, well, you should be used to it. You're nothing but a pathetic slapper, <laughs> luring other people's husbands into your bed. First chance you get. It worked once, so you thought you'd try the same trick again. Your daughter killed somebody in cold blood, and then you started blaming Ken because he didn't realise what she was up to when you didn't have a clue. Uh, oh, Deirdre, for heaven's well, sake! Well, he coming, oh, just because he's in your bed, doesn't mean to say you can come round here shooting your mouth Look, off. Deirdre! Deirdre, for the last time, there is nothing going on between me and Denise. She's done her best to help, and you lay into her like some sort of deranged harpy. Now, why did I expect you to believe that? Because you never listen to anything you don't want to hear. Well, I'm not going to waste my breath talking to you anymore. Come on, Denise, let's get out of here.